Hey, it's just Francine here. Uh, lovely to see you all again today. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this design on using a tall glass vase, or you could use a wine bottle, or anything that you've got at home that's tall. But I like to use this as, as called an Eiffel Tower vase, and I filled it up with water to give it some stability. But I actually like the reflection that the water gives you. And then I've, I've just popped inside it, threaded into the vase of water, uh, at an LED strand. So it's a strand with little LED lights on it. And it's got a little battery pack, but I don't put that in the water, but I do embed the lights. So once I've got that done, then I do my next step, which is actually using a candle cup. And these have got like a little nib on the bottom, which I like to use. And then I've got a um, some floral foam that's been pre-soaked. This is the wet oasis. Um, being pre-soaked, I beveled the edges off with a knife. And then I'm going to use this product here, which is called pot tape. And I'm going to put two pieces of this over the top. So one and cut it. And then I'm going to do another piece just to really make sure it's nice and secure. And this is going to hold the foam into place. Put another piece on there. And cut it so now that that's nice and secure and that's not going to go anywhere. So that is how that's done. Now I'm going to sit that to the side at the moment. That's ready to go. So put that over there and put that one over there. Now what I've got here is to hide the mechanics of what I'm doing. I'm going, I've just got an aspidistra leaf here and I've put a bit of gold spray on it. And I'm just going to wrap that around my glass vase. And I always wrap it around the neck of the vase and it just holds all the mechanics, uh, well hides all the mechanics in from underneath. And I'm using here a, a U-glue dash which is really good, nice and strong, very sticky and it'll just hold it onto the container for me. So I just put one of those on there, pull the little tab off, fold the leaf over and that's going to hold. So that's doing that one there. I'll just move these ones out of the way for now. So now once I've got that done, the next part I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this here. This is a wire. It's an aluminium wire and this is the gold one I'm going to use. Uh, it's nice and wide and it's uh, a really good one to work with. But you can use a range of the old wires that you might have at home. I've also got another wire I've done this with. This is called snake skin. It's got a nice pattern and texture on it. Another one I've liked to use is the diamond cut. This is a two millimeter thick aluminium wire and it's got like a little chip out of it or just even the plain aluminium wire but what I'm doing today is I'm going to use a slightly wider plain one now what I've done here is I've just I cut little strips of it and I'll just undo this one so you can see so I cut a strip and then I just carefully manipulate it with my hand and I roll it round just manipulate it round it's so easy to work with just make a nice little spiral in New Zealand we called these kurus they're beautiful, give it a spiral, and then I'm going to bring another one and do a little one at the top as well. Bring that around and go back on itself. Bring that through. I'm redoing this one so it's a little bit wonky, but that gives you the idea. And that's what we're going to end up with, a really nice shape. But why I'm doing these is because I want to put these on the lip of the container, then I secure them on, and then I lift them back out. So it's actually sitting on the lip of the glass vase. Um, I've got a little short one here I'm going to put on. The little short one I'm going to hang in the front. Uh, then I've got another one. Now this one I've actually joined two together by using the U-glue dash. So I'll show you how I did that. I get one of these U-glue dashes here, or very, very strong double-sided tape. Put that on. Put the little bit of the U-glue dash on the top here. Put it underneath and just stick them. Now you can build this right out if you want you can come out three-dimensional bring it way way out and just keep building it um, and just be in mind you don't want too much weight on it so I'm doing that there so now I've got my little arms there set up so now I've got here I bought this really cool Christmas decoration and I'm going to just put that so it sits on the top of that one that I've got there so now it's hanging on the vase now, what I've got here is I'm going to use now, put in the candle cup with the floral foam on it, but I'm going to use this product, and this one is called um, Oasis Fix, and it's a very stick, sticky tap tab, and we use this to secure the O-bowls or the Oasis pin holders to the containers, but I'm just putting that at the top of the vase, up the top here, to secure the little candle cup holder on, and that's really going to secure it well and stop it from moving. Put this on here. And then this will go in here, and then I'm just going to push it on, secure everything on, and now we're all nice, ready to go. Line everything up so I'm happy. So this is the start of actually making your mechanics, and we're doing a Christmas thing, but you could use whatever you've got for any special event.
Now, I've also got here some Christmas bubbles. Now, these ones, I've put a little dash of stretched it around the neck and just wired them. And these look really great if you want to just hang them onto your wire because there's no weight in them. They look really kind of cute just hanging in here like this. But don't hit them with that equal. So I'm just offsetting these. One a little bit higher, one a bit lower. And I'm going to save these other ones for later for when I've actually done the flowers. So just move all this out of the way. Now what I'm going to do now is now I've got this all set up my base, I'm actually going to start putting in my plant material. So I'm using here leather fern. This grows in my garden and it's gorgeous fern. So I'm just going to pop some of this in and I want to bring my eye down. And this is why this is really good having this aspidistra leaf or whatever leaf you've got in underneath just to cover the mechanics from underneath so you can't see all the stems going in. So it's um, And also with the stem of the candle cup. Put some in around the front here, and I'm going to bring a little bit into the side and through here, like this, into here, like this, repeating it out through the back, a little bit more there, and then I'm going to take a little bit in through the top to give me a bit of unity, work out the height that I want to go, and put a couple little pieces in here, and a little bit more through there. So now I've got my beautiful fern. I just love the fern, and the leather fern's beautiful. It holds extremely well. So now that I've got that in there, I want to put in some other plant material. Well, I've got here some gum. We've had a bit of a bit of wind here lately, and some of my trees, the branches got broken. So I just pruned these off and treated them. And I'm going to put in here some gum leaves, just to bring in a little bit of a different texture. And it smells divine, having that lovely eucalyptus smell. Put that there, match it on the other side as well, bringing my eye down. But if you haven't got these, you could use ivy, anything that's trailing, just use the plant material that you've got. Put a little bit more in through and underneath here. Take my eye in, a little bit more out through the back so that we've got a nice unity there. So now that we're building that in, this one's having a bad hair day, so we'll just tuck them in a little bit more. Pop them in underneath here like so. Uh, but because we've got a bit of texture happening now, I do like to calm the eye down. So I like to use my Fats Hedera. This is my Fats Hedera. It's a cross between Ivy and Aurelia. And you'll see me use these quite a bit. So I'm doing these in a little grouping. So I've got one in here. And I'm going to give it a friend up the top here so it's not lonely. It's saying, give me a friend up here. And then I'm going to do another one out through this back area here as well. So my eye comes right through with that lovely rest area is coming through. And I might do one more. It's been really good lately. A lot of the floral art things have been happening around and even online. And it's really good if you want to learn more about floral art and floral designing to, um, to watch the videos, but also go into a floral art group in your country, wherever you are. There's some fabulous groups and are fabulous people. So do look at joining or looking into it a little bit more. Now what I've got here is I've got some Anagazanthus mangalesii. So this is actually kangaroo paw, and it's a lovely velvety texture. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. This is for my friend Madhu in Australia. She uh, loves the, uh, using all the Australian plants, of course, just like we like using the New Zealand ones. But I just walked around the garden this morning and looked at all the different textures I had in pattern, and I worked my design by using some of these and through there. So I've got a little bit of kangaroo paw in there. Now another thing I like to use here at this time of the year is the Callistamin. This is the bottle brush and this is called Tom Thumb. So this is actually quite a small one and it has quite compact flowers on it. Uh, but it's a and it's a compact bush, but I just love the texture. I also love at this time of the year we get the lovely little seed pods coming through. So they really add that little the berries on there or well these ones aren't berries, these are seed pods, but they do look add another texture. So I'll put a few more of these just in through here. Take them in through the design. Couple in through there. And I'll put a few little in the top here. And to bring that colour through, I'll put the other one right on the top. Take another one out through the front here, just to bring that little bit down. So now that we've got the red coming through, another thing I like to use is I like to use the Oasis Floral Life Quick Dip. And um, I've treated these little um, hydrangeas, and when they're green, they really hold well if you treat them. So I'm just going to tuck them in, and they give me a, that lovely lime, fresh lime green to come through. So I'll just pop some of these in through here, and take them in nice and low when you're doing them. 
pop another one in through there another one in through here and then I'm going to do one out through the front maybe put another one on the top run around here I'll just come around the front a little bit here although there isn't a front this is an all round so I can put this um, and no matter where I put it it will be viewed all round so I'll just take that one take that one down nice and low so now I've got that lovely lime green coming through I wandered around and I had a look to see what else I had and I've also got the start of my lovely dahlias and this is a lovely gorgeous little white button one coming through so I thought that would repeat the round form so I'm going to put some of these in here that little bit of gray, uh, white just to tuck in sort of a creamy white so it's quite pretty again it brings in the colors of the creamy gold so I'll put a few of these in through here so I hope you're all going really good out there getting all organized for Christmas tuck that one in pop that one in through there turn it around a little bit put that one in take another one up and through the top here just give it a bit of unity to take my eye right through pop that one in and I've got a couple more buddies here I'll give it a little bit more it's going to tuck one in through there I'm going to give it a friend and tuck another one up beside it so that gives it a bit more uh, form in there repetition of form and I'm going to do another one just right on the top there as well do I like that one oh you know, can't leave that one out right so now that I've got that on there we're starting to build it um, I've got this here this is a, a gorgeous red rose that I've picked from the garden so I'm going to pop this one in just to bring the, the red through and more of a volumetric form these gorgeous red roses Put another one in through here I might take that one in through the top there this time couple more in through here take that one down nice and low this one here see if I can put this in so it's nice being able to just go and pick and that uh, at the moment I can do that in New Zealand it's coming into our summer so it's uh, beautiful out there and everything's starting to flower and I've been getting a lot of questions about going out and doing another walk through the garden so I'm just going to put in here that's just a little bud to come through pop a little bud in through there turn that he might just poke him in just a teeny bit more pop him in there do I like him in there maybe bring him out just a bit so we've got that in there now that we've got that to bring a bit more unity we need to think about the round gold baubles that I've got here so I've pre-wired a few of them and I stretch a little u-glue dash around the top and then I wire it so just going to put a couple of these in here that little bit of shine repetition coming through whoops a dozy Put that one in there again try again there we go he's a bit happier this time and this one's textured so this has got a bit of a part a sparkly pattern to match the ribbon that I've got on here so I'm going to put this one up on this side up in here just to take my eye right up move that off there so that's showing you how to do that design and then what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the lights on pop the little battery pack up and through the flower so you can't see it and then there you go we've got a really interesting Christmas table centerpiece it's nice and elevated so that you can see the people underneath and I hope you enjoyed that one have a go see what Christmas decorations you've got at home that you can have a go at making this um, and it's kind of fun a lot of fun being able to play so have a wonderful day everybody and I'll see you again next week bye for now